गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड पेइंग अटेंशन टुवर्ड्स योर स्टडीज डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर रीडिंग अनदर लेसन फ्रॉम आर गाइडेड इंग्लिश बुक व्हिच इज द डून वैली एंड इट इज टेकन फ्रॉम द नॉवेल लॉर्ना डून डियर स्टूडेंट्स मेनी यंग बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स लाइक टू रीड लॉर्ना डून एज इट इज अ फाइन एंड एक्साइटिंग स्टोरी ऑफ आउटलॉ डूनस एंड ऑफ जॉन रेड्स फाइट अगेंस्ट देम द सेटिंग ऑफ दिस नॉवेल इज Exmoor Hills and Valleys. Dear students, now open your books on page number twelve, and you must underline all the difficult words and note down their meanings. Now let's get started. John Reid lived with his mother and sisters in lonely part of England called Exmoor. Lonely means isolated. When John was twelve, his father was killed by the Doones, robbers who lived in a nearby valley. robbers or are not the good citizens they rob the people nearby means very close or near and valley is a low area of land between hills or mountains living with the doons was a little girl called lorna who had been taken away from her mother by the doons this passage tells of john's first meeting with lorna now the explanation of these lines Dear students, this these lines give us the description of John Reid's family that he lived with his mother and sisters in the lonely part of England, and the name of that part is Exmoor. And it happened that when John was twelve, his father was murdered by the robbers, and the name of the robbers were Doones. And uh, the Doones they had also kidnapped a little girl. The name of that girl was Lorna. so this passage the doon valley it tells us the first meeting of lorna and john the doon valley now that his father was dead john made up his mind to take care of his family he learned to shoot and one day he went to a nearby town and bought some lead and gunpowder to make bullets for his father's gun now that his father was de- dead means when he was 12 years old his father was killed by the robbers doons now he was the only member so he has to take care of his family so he had made up his mind that he is going to take the responsibility of his family that is why he learned to shoot and one day he went to a nearby town and bought some lead and gunpowder 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 means an explosive mixture of potassium nitrate charcoal and sulfur and he make uh, why he had bought le- uh, gunpowder because he wanted to make bullets for his father's gun he has to take care of his family that is why he learned to shoot as well in the winter's evening they would all sit in the big kitchen mrs red would go to sleep eliza would read books annie would roast apples and john would make his bullets so this is a routine of the reds family in the winter's evening that mrs red would go to sleep their mother go to sleep eliza would read books annie would roast apple and john would make his bullets john also learned about all the work of the farm as they were the old farmers so he also learned about the work of the farm and he worked very hard for the next two years he would sometimes go swimming and fishing so it may be the hobby of john red that he sometimes go to swimming and fishing now this is all the information about the red's family that what they used to do and what is the decision of john after that his father was murdered by the doons now one cold february day when he was 14 that he had worked very hard for the two years so now he was 14 john set off by himself to catch fish he put his shoes and stockings in a bag round his neck turned up his sleeves and picked up a strong stick so it was his decision that when he was 14 years old he set off by himself for fishing he put his shoes and stockings stockings are long socks up to the knees and he put all these things in a round in a bag and uh, turned up his sleeves and picked up a strong stick then he waded up a little river that flowed from the doon valley waded means to walk with effort through water the trees net above his head and kept out the sunlight everything was quiet and john felt cold and lonely dear students as it was the month of february so you have to keep this thing in your mind that february is the month of winter and the water was also cold now that 
there was uh, no sunlight as the trees met above his head and they were keeping out the sunlight that is why everything was very quiet and john felt cold and lonely some way up the river flowed into a big black pool john pressed close to the rocks and slowly climbed round the pool at one end a waterfall ran down a steep slippery cliff john wanted to see what was at the top so he decided to climb it so uh, he was attracted towards the waterfall waterfall is an area where the water flows over a vertical drop or a series of steep drops in the course of a stream or river so he was attracted towards the waterfall and he wanted to see what was at the top that where the water is uh, from where the water is falling down that is why he decided to climb that steep slippery cliff it was a hard climb and once john nearly slipped and fell he had cramps and his leg hurt so much that when he managed to reach the top he fainted it was a very difficult climb and when he uh, tried to uh, climb that steep slippery cliff it happened that he nearly slipped and fell and uh, the thing is that he had cramps cramps are the sudden muscular pain and his leg hurt so much that he when he managed to reach the top he fainted fainted means he lose his consciousness when john opened his eyes he found himself in the dune valley a beautiful little girl with large dark eyes and thick dark hair was kneeling beside him kneeling means be in or assume a position in which the body is supported by the knees her dress had a white top and a skirt of rich colors rich colors means bright colors maybe the skirt is colorful so when he uh, came back to his senses he found that there was a beautiful girl who was kneeling beside him and what was she doing she had been rubbing john's forehead with a handkerchief when john sat up she said oh i am so glad you will be better soon won't you then she said what is your name and why have you come here so this is the uh conversation between the two that she was very happy when she uh, see that john had come back to his senses and uh, she asked him that why, what is his name and why the reason that why he is here my name is john red answered john and i have been fishing who are you so now he replied about that he is john red and uh, the reason of his being here was that he is there for fishing I am Lorna Doon she answered in a low voice for she was ashamed of her name as doons were the robbers they were not the good citizens that is why Lorna Doon was ashamed of her name and she told her name in a very low voice she looked so sad that john offered to give her his fish then she began to cry and john was so upset that he wanted to comfort her upset means disturbed but lorna was still frightened and she said please go now the doons would kill both of us if they found you here but i shall come back said john and bring you some of our apples and perhaps i show you my puppies and a thrush with a broken leg that i caught i should like to be your friend lorna so this is the conversation between the two lorna was not only uh, shameful of her name but she also want she was also frightened that if the doons would find out that they were there they are going to kill both of them so john wanted to have friendship john wanted to comfort the girl so uh, he said that i shall come back and bring some of our apples and perhaps show you my puppies puppies are the young ones of dog and a thrush thrush is a small medium sized songbird and typically having a brown back so uh, he wanted to be the friend of lorna that is why he is offering such gifts to her Lorna was just saying that she would like that too when they heard a shout Lorna was terrified for she knew that the doons were going to look for her so in the midst of the conversation they heard a shout and Lorna was terrified means afraid because she was aware of the shout that the doons are coming and they were looking for her they were searching for her come home with me Lorna said John my mother would look after you No I cannot do that said Lorna the doons will not hurt me but you must hide until they have gone I will show you an easier way out so uh, uh, John Red offered that if uh, Lorna is going uh, is coming with John her his mother is going to look after her and uh, but Lorna refused that she cannot do that because the doons are not, the doons are not going to provide any harm unless and until Lorna is alone so she told Uh, john that she, he must hide somewhere 
and she is going to show him an easier way out. So John hid until he saw Lorna carried off on the shoulders of one of the robbers. Then he set off home by the path she had shown him. So dear students, this is that is all. You have to read the story uh, yourself, and uh, if there is any difficulty, you can ask. You have to read the lesson yourself. Thanks. Have a nice day.